We're here at the fourth round of the Enduro World Series 2017, which is halfway through the season for the guys. Now, we've already seen a lot of prototype stuff floating around the pits already this year, and it's now starting to turn up with production paint on it. Tracy, you've been a racer for a lot of years. What's it like getting those new bikes and getting that sort of trick kit? It's really cool. I don't think you ever, ever get tired of, you know, getting a new box. It's like Christmas, opening that parcel, seeing something that's been made, you know, specifically for you. That custom feel, it makes you just have that extra bit of a motivation to get out there to do your best on it this weekend. So it's pretty cool to be able to see that and looking forward to seeing who's going to have that feeling this weekend. Well, let's go for a wander and try yeah, and find some. Definitely. So Robin here, you've got a new uh, new Ibis bike. You've been working on this for uh, for a few months. Have you been riding this all season or is this is the first weekend out on this bike? Um, been on it since December. So basically, first of all, we've changed the geometry. So it's a bit longer, yep. more roomy. Uh, I was riding an XL before and now I'm riding a, a large. First of all, the position of the shock, so it's more progressive. Yep. Um, and they've also made room for the piggyback uh, to flip the shock uh, the other way uh, so we can fit a big bottle. Feels really good. It's way more planted yeah. than the old. Yep. Cool. Pretty thank psyched you. about it. Yeah, thank you very much and good luck for the weekend. Cheers. You guys have actually got some prototype six pot calipers here this weekend. That's quite interesting. Well, we made the six pot, I don't know back in the 90s, maybe early early, early 2000. And um, today we've been, been on about bringing it back for years and now with e-bikes coming out and stuff and, and downhill bikes getting bigger discs and that, we just sort of thought, why not? Yeah, there's a lot of power. Um, we're just playing around with sort of ratio, piston ratio with the leads and things like that, but there is a lot of power there. Yeah, I go all well then. Any changes to the bike for Ireland? Uh, we got some new, pretty bright colors. Pretty stuck on it. Matching the green in Ireland, so. Hopefully the crowds like it and cheer, cheer loud for us. Yeah, new colorway. We've got the uh, high tower with a bit of a. We, we had a load of old um, Bronson paint left over from the first year we did them, so we just slapped it on, give us a fresh look. <laughs> the two definitely different quite type of riders. Um, Jerome is very smooth. Marco is a little bit wild, and um, so yeah, the setup is quite different. Jerome is running a go back to an air shock when uh, in Tasmania was on a coil. Um, coil and air shock. We do use a system on the lockout on the bar. With Fox, it's a Gemini system, which is a system that is made with Cannondale and Fox. With a grip shift, you will be able to activate and engage and disengage the lockout very easily without moving the finger. So quick. I know some people I've seen they say that you might activate it by mistake. I can guarantee you, you don't. <laughs> Always the shock quiz on the first uh, first practice run to be sure of uh, of you of your sitting. The ball quiz here, and you have another one on the on the back, and you have the app on your phone. You have all the information of like you still of riding, like you need to take off some uh, some rebound or make more compression on the bike. We're here with uh, the Cube Action team manager Klaus. Now you've got something special for Greg this weekend, haven't you? Is he out riding it at the minute, or? Oh no, he's not riding it at the minute. We have it still in a, in in the box, and I bring it here over the night from Germany. <gasps> Can we have a, is it in this box here? Yeah, it is in can the box. Can we have a sneak peek? Is that all right? I'm putting you on the, I'm putting you on the okay, spot. Okay, okay. Maybe we can open it here, yeah. But only a small look on it. Wow. That is special looking. Nigel, new bike. Well, not a new bike, but a very, very special paint scheme. Can you tell us a bit about it? Just normal day. Rob from New Proof uh, pulled out a box and said, it, I've got a few parts for the, uh, for the team here. So come and have a look and I uh, opened the box and this, this Barry Sheen replica frame was in there. We were talking about doing uh, hero bikes um, for, for the team every now and again. And um, obviously when I was a kid, Barry Sheen was like a massive, um, you know, household name. And my first little motorbike when I was four, I had his number seven on there. And Aww. come yesterday and he, he pulled this out of the box and I, I didn't know what to say. Like it's, it's absolutely a perfect replica of his, his bike back in the day. So there we go then, some pretty trick machinery. Tracy, what was your highlight? I think that new Ibis, just that custom paint, make, matching up with the orange fork, looked super cool in the sunlight today. Yeah, really nice looking bike. I'm quite nostalgic. I like Paige's Barry Sheen. That yeah, was pretty, pretty cool. cool. Anyway, the guys are heading up on the stages now to see what those new bikes can do.